Hey YouTubers, it's Dansky. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating custom art brushes in Adobe Illustrator. And these are really useful, particularly for drawing when you want to vary the width of a brush or a line. Okay, so if we select our paintbrush tool and we just draw, we get something that looks like that. A very consistent width all the way along the stroke. So we want something slightly different. So if we select our ellipse tool and we're going to hold shift and create a circle. And we're just going to swap the fill and the stroke. So this is black. And then using the direct selection tool, we're just going to find this anchor point on the left and holding shift, just drag it out like this. Okay. Now what we're going to do is open up our brushes palette on the right hand side and you can either drag this straight off the artboard into here or you can go to the drop down menu and click new brush. And we're going to select art brush and click OK. And you'll get a whole set of options up and you can give it a name if you like. For the most part, we can leave all of these the same. Colori uh, colorization, we need to make sure that the method is set to tints. So this effectively means that if you select another color for your brush, it won't always remember that it was created in black. So we're creating it in black, but if you chose to have it in green, pink, blue, whatever color after you've created it, that's absolutely fine. It won't force you to use black as the color. Okay, so we can click OK. And then we can delete this shape and we can start painting. Make sure it's selected over here in the brushes palette and we can create a crazy shape and you'll see the stroke goes from small all the way to thicker at the end and we can actually adjust the width as well so let's select two we'll make it twice as thick and it still maintains that kind of proportion going from thin to thicker at the other end and what you can also do is if you decide that you'd like it to go the other way so go thin on the right side and then go through to thicker on the left you can double click to edit and the direction you can swap there and click OK and you can either leave the strokes you've already created as they are and just apply this effect to future strokes or you can apply it to all so it will edit every instance of a stroke so we can, we're going to apply it to all and you'll see the one we've already created will change OK and you can do this with all sorts of shapes so let's create something a bit strange kind of improvising here so I'm not really sure how this is going to turn out so it might look very interesting hopefully in a good way we're just gonna make that all one shape with the Pathfinder tool okay so this is our our, uh, <laughs> our shape we're gonna use so we can just drag that in and release and select art brush this is all fine. Again, colorization, select the tints and click OK. Now let's see what we've created. Wow, well that is quite possibly the worst brush ever created in the history of Illustrator. Oh, OK, so if I draw the straighter the line I draw, the easier it is to see the shape. So as you start to draw different curves and things, it, it distorts it quite a lot. Let's see how it looks on a circle. Absolutely terrible. But hopefully you get the idea that that is how you create brushes in Adobe Illustrator. And I'm sure you'll create much better brushes than me, but particularly the first one is incredibly useful for drawing and just having that kind of realistic, um, being able to control the width so everything isn't consistent. Because when you draw, you know, sometimes you might start off thick and then as you draw a line out, it will go thinner. But um, so I hope that was helpful. If it was, please remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.